So we have SP here is showing us the smoking of the chicken and the meat, huh? SP, this is great. We are all here to to take. Trace is taking photographs. This is amazing. So tell me, SP, tell us what's going on here, man. Oh, 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 the, the those, juice. Those are juices. So it keeps the juices in there. Yes. Wow. So I used to think that the summer salting chicken is the best. Shouting. But this is really great, man. This is awesome. Wow. So, SP, what is this called? So, but this is a backyard smoker. This is a backyard smoker? Yes. Uh huh. Um, it basically uses. Um, it uses firewood, uh -huh. basically, it's firewood. Firewood. Right here. Okay. So it's a metal tube. Uh -huh. uh, on this side, you have what is called a firebox. Uh -huh. This is my source of energy. Uh -huh. The meat, whatever it is, is not cooked over direct heat, yeah. like most whatevers you have. Uh -huh. uh, this is so the smoke goes through here. Yeah, there's a hole right there. Uh -huh. So you have your heat that is pulled. This is some science, I think, convection. Uh -huh. I have a smoke stuck there. Uh -huh. So it goes in from here, it's sucked out. Hey. And then through that pro process, it goes through this, what we call the cook chamber. Okay. And so it's basically hot air uh -huh. with the smoke hey. that cooks and flavors. Oh, wow. Air. Wow. It's a slow cook. Basically. Oh, wow. So it is cooked with hot air. This is the first time I hear hot air meaning something. <laughs> <laughs> we've cooked uh, these are here locally we call them pork thighs but uh -huh. they call them boston butt or uh, pork butt which is this usually thighs are tough muscle okay but when you cook this through a slow process uh. it 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 will break down. Wow. And what you have at the end of, you know, six, seven, eight hours, even up to 12 hours of cook time, yeah. is tender, delicious meat. Oh, wow. Will cook. We'll, we'll so it. tell me, I, I want to ask us uh, on two sides. Yes. Uh, first, uh, if I want to get this for my backyard, is this a, a commercial thing? Is it a domestic? Did you make it? Yeah, I dis no, I didn't. Okay, got this on YouTube. Okay, uh, I was inspired, but I read up on it quite a bit. There's uh, details, there's SP, science to it. You didn't it. get it on YouTube. You got the plan. <laughs> okay, now I need to the close idea. it because I'm losing. Okay, close the it. Okay, I'm losing my temperature. Okay, so you designed it or you replicated? No, I didn't design it. Someone mm. else has. This is very famous in the U.S. in mm. Texas. Mm. Um, this is this is actually in, you know from Texas basically. Eh, uh, not a Ugandan thing. Uh, no, 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 no. This is this is Texas. I was thinking so that I can go somewhere. Texas. Yes, this is Texas. And you just imitated it. Yes, I imitated Here it. Here in Uganda. Yeah. 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 But you need a certain thickness of metal uh -huh. because what you have on the roadside mm. with the cigarettes is very thin metal, mm. and those don't hold heat very well, mm. and they affect how the meat is cooked. Yes. yes. So SP, if I wanna get this me in for my backyard, yeah, I have backyard. I have a group of guys. Like how many people can I serve with this? With this one here, yeah. so yeah. when you can serve real good meat eaters, yeah. you can serve up to 20, 30 people. Wow. Twenty to thirty yeah, guys. You could cook <laughs> a whole a whole pig in here. You ah! Entire you goat. Uh, no, 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 no. I actually need oxygen coming in uh, okay. so I can raise my my temperature. So twenty thirty people. Yes, that, this, that's this a good. Is, it's domestic, but it's also it's commercial. Okay, this can be commercial. How long has it been? Uh, 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 do you take to cook the chicken? Do I have to wake up at four in the morning? <laughs> it depends I, on what time you your people want <laughs> to eat. Like today, we have guests. Uh -huh. They are eating at four, so uh -huh. I need to work some eight ten hours okay. backwards oh, wow. so like for this one we fired i like, woke up at five mm. fired this up at about 6 30 mm. took 30 minutes to come up to temperature mm. and by exactly seven mm. we put the the meat inside there Wow. But then there's also a backward process of preparing the meat. Exactly. I saw you chipping away the meat, preparing it. Not yes. preparing it but sourcing. Exactly. sourcing. So getting quality meat yeah. is key to what ends up on the plate. How much is that machine, SP? If I'm buying it if from you're you. you're buying this machine from, from you. you mm. So I'll charge you about three, 3.5 million shillings. Okay, that's a thousand dollars. I'll charge you about five million. Tracy is saying at five million. Five million. Five million. Five million. Five million.
Yeah. So it's about three a thousand. The, the firebox though is thicker metal. I picked it from someone mm. uh, who was willing. They didn't understand its value. Mm. It's much thicker than the metal here because it takes fire. Mm. I know where I can get that one. <laughs> hey, so yeah. listen, we're gonna do a partnership. <laughs> yes. <we're true>. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what to use there. Yes, to, to to the the night shift, my dad has a new shift from and how that. The goes. meat. Mm. Okay, just what it. what we regularly do is we go to our butchers because that's the place we usually have meat. But then the challenge, if you're cooking for home consumption, the, your butcher here out is, is okay. But then when people begin to pay for your meat, you want to get premium meat. So it's cut a certain way and you pick certain parts because they cook differently. So one of the challenges I'm having right now is um, sourcing meat. So I find that there is not very many people who provide, you know, affordable meat. A kilo of meat for premium meat is going to go for 25,000, you know, to 30,000 a kg. Wow. Yes. So we, you know, we work with, you know, again, also what we have, um, but quite a bit goes in, but it's fun. It's, I enjoy so doing is, this. Is, is this a temperature gauge here that yes, I see? Yes, those are Oh man, that's mechanized, man. So it's not guesswork? No, 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 no. It's actually, I just installed this today. Uh-huh. And I just realized that I was burning more energy than I should. Ah. Oh. So I was in a bit so of a shock. You actually mass. had, you were using too much wood. Exactly, and a lot of heat. Uh. And yet I needed to bring so it. How many logs of how many pieces of wood did you use for this cook? So far, I probably have beginning. gone through. I think I have gone through maybe about ten or fifteen there. Ten amount. pieces of this yeah, size. These sizes, yeah, like so this. It's actually not that much. It's efficient, yeah. It, it and in some way, it's almost like a campfire. I mean, that's the yes. amount of yes. you could use just for maybe making local food in, yes. a, in a saucepan. So That's great. It's, it's really quite economical. So, SP, it, uh, for a hotel, for um, a, a camp, a campsite. Yes. Yeah. This is good for guys. Yeah. If you're going to come out like for a weekend, yeah, you have. The, I mean, you could make something smaller, yeah, than this. That is because this is heavy. Yeah, that is easy to move. Yeah, and you can set up anywhere. Okay. I mean, even this size. Just if we, there are those that stand up. Yeah. Like a stand-up drum smoker, they are smaller. Yeah. With compartments. Yeah. They, you know, you can move that around. Mm. Uh, this is a bit more stationary. It would be very, very okay. I can see excellent welding work was done, SP. Eh? <laughs> this was not. Uh, I can no, see. The, the, eh? the, so we have a second one. Uh huh. This one is. So this is direct heat. Mm. This is a direct heat cooker. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it models like the one you have on the roadside. Mm. But then this one has a lot of the cooking on the roadside, mm. like grills. Mm. They cook with the lids open. Mm. And what that does mm. is that you have a lot of heat that is, is escaping. You, I mean, you lose significant heat. Mm. But when we designed this one, mm. this is a direct heat cooker. Mm. It has a lid with two, you know, smokestacks or chimneys mm. that allow me to control my temperature. Mm. Uh, my so my oxygen goes in through here. I also manage Let's this. Let's see. It goes That's in where I put there. the uh, charcoal firewood. and a bit of firewood. Mm. This one is mostly charcoal, but I throw in firewood for the smoke feel. And this, when you close it like this, then you're able to control your heat mm. and how much energy you're actually putting inside here so, so between these two and this one which one is uh should i go for <laughs> or do, do they do they serve different this, this cooks this cooks faster okay a little faster uh, and so that's direct heat yeah, direct heat this one is hot air yeah that's hot air <laughs> tracy that's the hot <laughs> air <laughs> 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 I think you think you can add <laughs> But this is also good. When so, okay, what's the what's good. the price difference between this okay. and that? This one, okay, this is smaller mm. in terms of size. Mm. The metal that I use should typically be the same, but this is a bit... Uh, my budget had gone low, mm. so the metal is a bit thinner than this one. So mm. this is a bit cheaper mm. than and the, the other. other one. Yes. Mm. Yes, I'm very proud of you. 3.5 I'm gonna get yes. my friends. So it's also about 3.5 also. Yes. So the same. No, no, this this one is about maybe about two or 1.5. Okay. That's my internal price when I'm doing it. 
All right. No, but if you he, if you want if you want him to make it, it's two point five. <laughs> Tracy, are you, are you becoming one? an agent? Yes, and if you want this but one, it's five. This, this one. Does is amazing. This one. Hey. Even me, I'm shocked at the way it works, mate. Hey. Hey. Both of them, these hey. ones here, because this one also. The, the heat source is a bit lower. Yeah. The meat actually sits at about, so it's about 20 inches. Mm, so it doesn't come very, so it's slow cook basically. Okay. So you need patience. Let's be, when I ate the meat, man, it just made me feel like I would eat a whole fit. There's something about it that has like a smoky feel, you know, yes. like when you're, when you're doing bacon. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, it really has exactly. that, th that bacon feel. Actually, the smoke is what flavors. Mm. Uh, the, and then they say the smoke has, okay, there's different kinds of smoke. So right now you, you won't see it, mm. but this is a clean smoke. You can mm. hardly see it. Mm. So there is a dirty smoke yeah, okay. which makes the meat bitter. Mm. But this is what I'm looking for. Uh, it needs to be, you, you almost hardly see it. SP, can I use it apart from the meat? Can I use it for pizza? I'm just thinking. No, 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 no. It can't do pizza? <laughs> no, it will be too smoky. Oh, gosh. But it can do fish here very quickly. Hey, so like it's this? very quick. Do pizza? No, 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 no. This is smoky. You want. Pizza, you need some fire. Yeah, you need some fire, and it needs to be. Wait, as we just very briefly talk to us about the types of wood. You were saying <laughs> how if you get a fruit tree, it flavors yes. the smoke. Now, we have you. This is you. No, 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 no. This is eucalyptus. Mm. This is eucalyptus. People want the meat, SP. People are calling you for <laughs> the meat. Yeah, people want so the this meat. This is eucalyptus is very common and mm. available, but unfortunately, eucalyptus burns very quickly mm. uh, so it's not good for me i don't make money when i use eucalyptus uh. so I, I, but because it's available i will use it however mm -hmm. there is uh, actually this i just found out mm. this when you actually test this is in pewe you test it it mm. has a sweet something hey. it is sweet it has a sweet. what do you mean the meat or no, the no, tree no, no, itself the timber it, the, the wood the wood uh-huh it has a sweet thing about it oh right? wow i didn't even know until today when i was splitting them uh-huh so what that does mm. it all of those as it gen and burns and generates yeah it also flavors oh wow so you i think you've seen like maybe honey or coffee they say it has these tones tone uh, hints of these yeah you will get those there wow but typically so is that the same if you got a papaya tree uh, uh, or no. guava tree so you can't use a go papaya tree with, tracy yeah, I mean, I mean, wise to use uh, yeah wood, mm. uh like mahogany mugavus because one they burn slower which means I sustain my energy uh, over a period of time, makes good charcoal also within the work. But then, for example, I have coffee, I picked these up. These are to accent, because these also introduce certain flavor and taste profiles what is in it? the meat. This is coffee. These are coffee, uh, whatever. This, this is coffee Orange. wood or something like wow. that. Then, avocado, mango, uh, uh, what's the other one? Generally, fruit trees. Wow. Fruit trees add a fruity flavor. Oh, wow. And they're sweetish. So, the wood you use is also very, very key. How interesting. SP, this, is, this should be called the SP's <laughs> specialty meat. I mean, uh, people with channel. a special palate. <laughs> Barbecue. Yeah. Me, uh, can you, can, what about if you do like roses, like rose rose flowers do they add that in there no you may not get that in there. <laughs> we, can, we can introduce those in the flavor sunflowers uh. <laughs> so they basically say mm. that with the wood the good fire good meat a little seasoning mm. the meat should you should be able to make to ensure that the meat speaks for itself wow. some places we've eaten meat and they throw things on there and when you taste the meat you hardly taste it because they've camouflaged it with or it disappears yeah no, but this what, process what the meat speaks you don't want to hear <laughs> <laughs> so this process is we are challenged of course i'm also learning yeah. to make sure that you test them because people who love meat want to eat meat nothing else mm -hmm. you know and so they let's be what's your phone number my phone number is zero seven eight seven six two three two zero three again Seven eight seven mm. six two three mm. two zero three. All right, thank you, thank Who you. Who can deliver? Okay. <laughs>